Hello, today I want to show you guys how to download and install Cal Irwin. Um, the first thing I'm going to help you, I'm going to show you guys what to do is how to get to the site of Cal Irwin. Um, you're going to go to Google, um, and then you are going to look up Cal Irwin, and it's going to be a data modeler. Well, then you're going to go down to Irwin.com, and it will be shown right here. Once you're in Irwin.com, you're going to actually download and install a free version. Um, you have the download trials right here in the center, and you can go ahead and click on that. The Cal Irwin Data Modeler, um, you're going to use this one right here, and you're going to go ahead and download it right now. And when you start to download it, it may take a few minutes, so just be prepared to... To take your time. So basically, now when you're when you've gone through that. It's going to ask you a few personal questions. You can go ahead and just enter whatever you guys want. Um, at and then when you go ahead and add whatever you guys want, it's just asking, make sure that you fill in the required fields, which are going to be done by the asterisk. So basically what I'm doing that, uh, I'm just trying to get this stuff done really quickly so you don't have to wait. Alright, now that it went all the way through, now you're going to go ahead and you're going to, it's supposed to be sent to your email, but since I did not do that, um, I forged basically created a spoof email. Um, now you can go ahead and click right here where my cursor is going over, and it says to install the software, you would click here, so you go ahead and do that. Now, right now, it's showing that it's going to take about 18 minutes for Owen to install. So, just, I'm going to pause and we'll go ahead first. Okay, Erwin now has been installed, so, it, or has been downloaded. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go search my downloads, um, and I will find the Erwin program, or Erwin, right here, so go, I'm going to go ahead and run it, and this is what's going to allow me to install Erwin onto the computer. So basically once I did that, this is what it, the basic, when it starts to install Erwin, this is what it's going to begin to look like. So basically now that it went through the first phase, now we're going to go ahead and click next. And when you get to the agreeing statement, you can go ahead and just scroll all the way to the bottom. And unless you want to read everything, and you can hit I agree. The organization for me will be just student. And I will go ahead and click next. Now it's just asking for the destination folder. And I'm just going to go with the default, and I'm going to go ahead and hit next. And then I'm going to also just hit next on the next part. It's just asking if you want to do a custom setup or what you want it to do. So I'm just going to go with the default and hit next. And I'm going to go ahead and install. Right here is where it's going to take about 15 minutes. So I'm just going to go ahead and let it do what it needs to do. And I will show you what it looks like.
looks like when it's done. So right now what has just happened is it just basically finished and I will go ahead and finish the install. Now Erwin is on my desktop so I'm going to go ahead and run it and this is what it's going to look like. On the first time, usually it's going to ask you what you want to do. I usually turn off the show tip on startup. I take off that and uncheck it. And I go ahead into the next. Um, you don't even have to hit the next button. You can just close unless you want to read. And right now it should boot you into the Irwin model. And that's what it's going to look like. And thank you for watching me install and